So what's going on, y'all? AJ Simmons here, and I want to give you this. This is the biggest mistake I've been making for the past couple of years. And I want to tell you about it so you're not making that same mistake, too. And that's this. I haven't been putting hard dates on my goals. And then I also haven't been uh, putting together actual financial plans to match those dates. And so basically what I was doing was I was saying, well, I'm just going to build my cleaning business up. I'm going to keep doing this uh, YouTube videos and I'm going to keep uh, doing my income, other income sources online that I create. And I'm just going Sunday, someday I'll get rich. Now, that wasn't my exact words when I was thinking of it, but that's, that was basically the gist of how I was thinking. I was just thinking that if I just keep building on everything I'm doing right now and just keep pecking at it and pecking at it, someday I'll get rich. One day it'll all work out. I'll catch a big break somehow. One of my videos will go viral. Something like that, right? But what I realize is that that's just a dream. It just It's not a goal. You know what I mean? It's just a wish if I don't put a date on it. And it's like, this is stuff you you know I hate, and I'm pretty sure you guys go through this too and hate it when it happened to you too. But I hate when I know better and I know something, but I don't always do better. And I know better, but I don't always do better. And so if you know better than to do something like this, you know what I mean? It's time to just start acting on these things and do it and fix it. You see what I'm saying? So the biggest thing I want to tell you is put some hard dates. And see, I, I'm going to tell you why I wasn't doing it, by the way, even though I didn't, even though I knew better. It was because I didn't want to limit myself. I felt like if I looked at what I did, let's, let's say last year I did $50,000 a year in my business. And let's say, all right, well, by next year, I want to uh, double that and do 100000 And so in my mind, I felt like, well, if I only said I wanted to do 100000 after doing 50000 last year, I'm going to limit, limit my potential because in my mind, that's all I think I can do. So how about I just say, forget what I did last year. Yeah, I might peek at it here and there, but I'm just going to grow my business and I'm just going to focus and it'll explode because you never know. I can get a million dollar contract tomorrow. And you that's not how you think. Because first of all, if you get a, a million dollar contract tomorrow, then you're going to need a loan because you're not going to be able to to, um, to man that contract, staff it. You're not going to have the equipment, none of that. You know what I mean? And I'm talking to myself too, uh, if that was to happen. So we have to start making practical plans that make sense. Now, it's still good to, to dream and think bigger than what the realistic goals show that you can accomplish, but you still gotta, you still need to have measurable goals. And that's why Think and Grow Rich teaches us to pick a number, be exact about the number that you're trying to get. You see what I'm saying? So don't be like that because I was like that and now I'm learning now, all right, I gotta go back and fix that. I have to put dates on things because here we are almost heading to a new year and I'm looking at it even though I generated probably twice what I did last year at the end of the day overall I'm in the same space financially speaking I'm still in the same space like, like last time this time last year I was saying that I was in a transitional period now here I am today still feeling the same way I'm in a transitional period so what I have to do now is say you know what what am I going to do today to change that Enough of this guesswork. Enough enough of fairy tale land. It's time to put some dates on stuff and some financial plans to the dates and, and really work towards these goals and stop making these wishes and dreams. Start making them into goals. So if you're doing the same mistake, I urge you to, to take this change with me and start putting dates on, on your goals. Turn your wishes, turn your dreams into goals and put some dates on them. And then figure out the financial plan that you're going to have to uh, incorporate in order to get there. All right. So thank you all for listening. This is AJ Simmons. And I'm glad y'all have been sticking with me on my journey. I hope I'm uh, continuing to drop knowledge on y'all as we continue to grow together. And make sure you're checking out AJSimmonsOnline.com uh, for other uh, blogs, other information in regards to growing your cleaning business as well as um, products and stuff that might be helpful for you in your cleaning business. Uh, make sure you're following me on all my social media at AJ Simmons Online. And then also add me on Snapchat at AJ Rich Already. All right. So thank y'all again. This is AJ Simmons.